Your number one journalist here, Mr. Montgomery. And let me ask you one question. If gang pull up, will you back your brethren? Like, literally. The reason why I'm asking this question is because over the past two days, so much controversy has literally gone on. Now, if you guys don't know, yesterday I reported that Drake called out Wiley for calling him a culture vulture. Drake called him Goofy and whatnot on the Tiffany Calver show on BBC One Extra. Now, the reason why I'm asking if gang pull up, are you going to back your brethren? Because Wiley tried to get gigs involved. Now, my opinion on this is that I think Wiley's literally just trolling. I genuinely think my man's just trying to have fun and all of that. Honestly, that's just what it is but obviously some people are not playing games now of course he called out gigs now wiley added gigs saying gigs your boy cracked then gigs obviously replied saying why did you just at me what exactly are you after here are you trying to show people that you're greasy and you can act gigs what exactly are you trying to achieve because all i can see is you're trying to wind me up so please do not show up leave me alone and i will do the same don't push it i ain't gonna lie Giggs is talking the talk, bro. He's saying, listen, I am not with none of the BS. Miss me with that. Anything to do with this mess, please do not involve my name in it. And I'm not going to lie. That's exactly what you got to do, man. Especially the fact that Drake and Giggs are boys. Or let me not gem it and say they're boys. But of course, in terms of the musical at, um, atmosphere, business-wise, they both have some correlation. And you think Giggs is going to mess up the bag? What? Are you mad? You think Giggs is going to mess up the... No way, bro. If you want to go around doing mad stuff, at him, man, hair, left, right and center, you can do that on your own own fam gigs is not trying to mess up his bag and that's literally where it is bro you gotta stay loyal to your thing just the other day a lot of people are getting onto miss banks for saying that she will back um nikki minaj over cardi b if cardi b called her out and stuff like that and people are getting onto her bro i'm not gonna lie your principles are your principles whether you think you're involved or you're not involved you have your principles and clearly gigs has got his principles and he's just laying it down saying fam i'm not with any of that miss me with it and that's basically how it's meant to not even basically that's how it's meant to be fam. honestly rule talk like we ain't got no time for games and again drake is not a culture vulture personally for me there's a lot of artists that come out from the u.s and i've noticed they don't even bring out one uk artist and if they do bring out one uk artist the uk artist is not really known or the uk artist is probably on their label it's not with that genuine interest like drake's come out and brought bear man fam like we have to be happy for that bro someone in the last video was even saying oh why are you just up drake's back you know no one's on to drake or saying or trying to kiss up to drake we're just stating the facts here and the fact here is that drake doesn't benefit from supporting the uk drake doesn't go any more further than he is he's already famous he doesn't need to be more famous really and truly i was surprised when drake called out wiley because personally for me i thought drake probably wouldn't have time for that or his management would have said no nah, there's no point obviously wiley being the godfather of the uk scene he has a right to say what he wants to say whether or not it's right or wrong he has the right to voice an opinion in this thing my man basically started graham he is uh, the founder of a lot of artists career Perez, if you really want to look at it deep but let me know what you lot think at the end of the day like honestly i i don't see nothing wrong with drake helping the uk thing and i personally think that we should embrace anyone that wants to embrace us fam we gotta be welcome we gotta open our arms right now the uk scene is at the maddest point it's ever been eyes are all on us literally we cannot afford to slip and not take every opportunity that comes now let's say you're against the whole drake thing let's say you're a person you're listening to this and maybe you're against the whole drake thing you're thinking no why should he uh, come and support us we got our own thing we don't need him blah 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 now okay let's say you're an artist right now and you probably get no more than 60k views per 24 hours let's say every time you release a song you peak at like 60k views yeah imagine tomorrow you wake up tomorrow morning and you see drake singing your song on his snap or or um, on his instagram how would you feel no genuinely like, like how would you feel you answer that yourself you know deep down inside yourself you'd be happy you won't obviously base your career off of that and i don't think any artist has based their career off of drake bringing them out or being next to drake or anything everyone's just got on with it however though if that happens to you you're going to be happy you're going to be excited but obviously if you're a uk artist just an artist in general fam build your own thing don't worry about no cosign from nobody you don't need nobody to cosign you or to big up your thing to feel valuable at the end of the day like you are an artist with or without the validation of other people and you will 
go further and you'll continue being a creative if you stay true to yourself but leave a like comment make sure you subscribe also if you want to cut you on some some cheap cabs maybe you're tired of doing 10 tolls you already know what i'm gonna say download the via van app and make sure you use my code for some cheap rides in a bit